welcome to 3.5's Math Moment. Today, students learn about how to cross-simplify and cross-reduce fractions before solving. So, looking at the word cross-simplify and cross-reduce, students know that simplify and reduce mean the same thing, which means the lowest terms. Cross just means going across the fractions. This should be a connection from Unit 1 when we talked about the butterfly method. So, the very first thing students can do is go ahead and make those butterfly wings. First, I'm going to look at the 4 and the 16. Do they share factors? Yes, they both share 4s. I know 4 divided by 4 gives me 1. I know 16 divided by 4 gives me 4. When I look at the 7 and 14, do they share something? They share 7s. So I know 7 divided by 7 gives me 1, and 14 divided by 7 gives me 2. When I multiply the numbers across, I'm going to look at these numbers that I have on the outside. And I have 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 4 is 4. Now this is a much simpler fraction than if we would have taken 14 times 4 and then 7 times 16. Those are going to give us a lot larger numbers, which are going to take a lot longer to reduce. Now I still need to reduce 2 fourths. A lot of fifth graders are going to see those are going to share 2's because they're both even which gives us one half. Now, if your fifth grader doesn't see any factors that they share, they can, like I said, go ahead and multiply straight across on both of these. There's just going to be a lot more reducing that have, is involved. On this other one, we're going to go ahead and draw our butterfly method again on the outside. And we're going to see what things that they share. I'm looking at the 5 and the 4, and I automatically see that they share 5. I know 5 divided by 5 is 1. 40 divided by 5 is 8. My 6 and 18, it takes me a second to think of that one, it's not as familiar as other ones, but I do know it's 6. So I can take 6 divided by 6, which gives me 1. 18 divided by 6 gives me 3. I'm going to go ahead and circle those numbers on the outside that I'm going to use to multiply. So 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 8 is 8, which gives me 3 eighths. Looking at this, I cannot reduce it any further, so I know this is as simple as it can go. If you have any questions about cross-simplifying or cross-reducing, see your math teacher.